everybody introduce Hannah Fraser. Without Hannah, many parts of this project just simply do not get done. Um, and she knows that, but uh, I'll let her speak a little bit more. And if anyone has any questions, please speak up. Wow, we're going to do that kind of intro. <laughs> um, I guess I just want to express how incredibly grateful I was to just be able to be part of something like this. And to express my gratitude to Dave and everyone and Justin for your unfailing persistence to actually bring this to completion. Huge respect. Because, <laughs> you know, we, um, we did all this filming, we did all these adventures, and then it was left to Justin to like pull all of that together and actually create the vision. And that is a really humongous job, so props to Justin. And I guess I just want to communicate that it was such an honor to just be able to hang out with the people that were involved in this. And so I would just urge every single person here, and I'm sure just the people that turn up to this kind of event, you're all involved in some amazing stuff already. But it's, it's the biggest joy in my life to be able to be part of things like this. So reach out, make communities, do whatever you can do, use your passion, your particular skill and just give it to a cause like this because you'd be rewarded a thousand times over. Yeah. And on that beautiful note, we'd love to turn it over to, to the audience uh, with our first question. Honest and bomb. <laughs> I love you, Debbie. <laughs> I'll pay you later. Can I stand as a question? <laughs> so, exactly. So who has uh, a question over here? Uh, the lovely lady with the hands up. Please rise. Can you please stand and uh, speak loudly so we can hear your question? How did you make your mermaid in the living? I've been a mermaid pretty much my whole life. I made my first tale when I was nine years old. And it's been a passion of mine. I've continued to make tales. And for the last eight years, I've been working professionally as a mermaid. I create my own tales. Each one takes about four months to make, and is individually sewn, tiny little sequin scales. And they're very functional and beautiful. And that is my passion, and that's what I want to offer to this project. Are you a mermaid? <laughs> if you throw salt water on the edge, yeah, you'll find out. <laughs> Yes, our question right here, gentlemen. Um, how many hours of film were shot and how much editing was done? Whoa. <laughs> so, five year project, um, how many hours of footage? I don't know, hundreds of hours of footage. Obviously, you'd see um, everything from 35 millimeter film in this, in this uh, project to <coughs> YouTube clips. So, uh, it was as big a project as we've ever worked on. I just remember thinking of being overwhelmed with not knowing what I could do to help. And at the time I had this audition for a film called Daybreakers and the character in the film was was um, betrayed by her father and was really um, hurt and badly done by. And I remember trying to channel the feelings that I had after watching this this um, this footage and and I was so emotional and so passionate, and I really tried to bring it into the scene. I ended up getting the part as well, actually, in, in the film. But then a week later, I was at this music festival, and I met Dave, and they were, Han and Dave were doing the visual petition, and um, that was just a small way of something that I could do. And then I kept self-educating about the issue and, and wanting to be involved in just anything I could do. So. I guess that's how I go to the board. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, without, without people like Isabel, Hannah, Jack Johnson, so many others that have con contributed.